Hello everybody and welcome to the SoTap channel. Um, in this video today I basically want to go through the processes of how I do graffiti girls in a really graffiti-esque style. If you guys have been following me on Instagram or even on the YouTube channel you know I love to create these graffiti styled girls similar to these. And basically I just want to create a short video showing you how I create this type of style, the processes, my mind, what I think about when making these, and basically I want to share this information with you so you can go and create your own, your own unique graffiti characters and go out and paint them into the world. So without further ado, I'm just going to jump straight into the video, um, sit back, have fun with it, and enjoy. The first thing I'm going to start off with when drawing one of these girls is, as every artist would probably tell you, you start off with a circle. So. And from the circle, I just draw a centre line. I'm going to have this character actually facing off into this direction. So I'm going to angle the line this way. If it was this way, I would obviously put the line here or forward, it would be straight across. But for this tutorial and this face, I'm just going to draw facing that way. So from here, this is the centre point of the face. I'm going to put in the two eyes to start off with. So the first eye, I'm going to have her, her eyes open, so I'm just going to start off with an open arch shape. And then double it up, give her that mascara look. And then the same arch on this side here. Sweet! This is just to place the, the eyes for now. And then from here, do another sort of ellipse shape for the bottom. And same goes for this eye here. I don't really like to connect this eyeliner shape to this part. I like to sort of leave it open and let the color in when I get to the coloring stage or the shading stage. I like to just leave it, leave it skin tone. But that always depends on the sort of design you, you want to achieve at the end. Anyway, from there, I would normally add the eyelids. So just do a little line above the eye, pull into the middle and from here you can change your eyelids obviously it depends on the face you're doing but let's just pull pull line from up here and down so there we have the two placement of the eyes now for the nose shape, obviously once again depending on your nose, here let's just do like a simple button nose just for the sake of the tutorial. Just throw like, I don't really know how to explain that shape. <laughs> it's like a cross between a triangle and like a rect rectangle sort of thing to squish down. But just throw in a shape there, or let's actually, let me show you something, let me just, let me just take that shape away. And say you want something else, just change the shape, do like that. And right there, you've got the, the basic shape of the nose coming up. So here would be one nostril, here would be the second nostril, and on top of most no noses, you get a fold. So just put a line here for the fold. And when you rub out the guidelines, you're left with that. And then you can put in some shading. Like that's just give it more shape and put that curl. Then you've got the nose shape. That's quite a flat nose. But like I said, try and break down the image in your head before you start. So if someone's got like a bigger nose, it may be like a, a rectangle shape coming up like there, a triangle, more of a buttony shape. This is just where you have to go and practice and seek out your own reference and the own the sort of style on the face you're trying to achieve. But let's stick with that for now. So you've got quite a quite a flat nose, quite podgy, the eyes. It's kind of cool. And then from the nose, obviously then we'll place the lips. Usually what I like to do as well is draw like a little guideline. So imagine the top lips, the folds there. And then I also like just to put a shape here. And then from there, just give them more shape. So put a little, little dimple on the top top of the lips and 
Maybe drag that across. Now, I always like to shade the top lip as well. I just like just to put a shade <laughs> shade on there because a lot of things you see as the top lip is just dark, and then you've got the real the real colour in the bottom lip. Okay, guys, what about a couple of these guides so you can see? And now as you can see, I've just got the basic placement of the face. Now what I'd usually do from this point is take from the left hand side of the face and just get a rough guide, because obviously the face is angular, so there's going to be the cheekbone that comes into place, which would be like there, this cheekbone, which will obviously be then on the other side, like mirror it to the other side. And then a few artists as well that actually for more of a rough face will actually leave this cheekbone in. Which I think actually looks really cool. I'm actually, yeah, let's leave it in for this tutorial here. So there's that one cheekbone and the second's coming here. So I'd normally match this line to the cheekbone and then from there drop it into the lips. There. It gives you a really cool illustrated graffiti effect. I know a few other artists that, that, that pull this off really well. One being Hombre Suck, as a few of you know, and a guy called Paco Sanchez. Those guys are incredible, incredible artists. Okay, and as you can start to see, the face is starting to form. And depending on how you want the chin, I normally draw mine with a real soft, rounded chin. So, I just put it a little bit under the lip, there. And then from here, I pull up. Now here's a key feature for any character design you do, is the eyebrows. The eyebrows can change any expression with ease and give the whole image a completely new dynamic. <clears throat> so, when I get to this point, I always think like, sad, happy, um, yeah, excited, any emotion, then you just really lay it onto the eyebrows. So here I'm just gonna pull the eyebrows up. And it also allows you to shape it, shape the face a lot more. So here where the eyebrow dips in, imagine that nose contour coming up. You can put a little bit of faint line there so you've got a guide and then just lead the eyebrow up. I'll just shade in for now. And then obviously the same with the cheekbones, you want to sort of mirror it to this side. You don't always have to though, this is a cool thing. Because right now I could draw an eyebrow like this. And the image still actually makes a lot of sense. It's not like what the hell is going on, it sort of changes the expression again. But for this tutorial, let's just, I want to just try, try and keep it simple so you can get a good understanding of how things are going. I'm just going to pull it up, across, and down. Add a little fold there. Shade it in a bit. And now you can see the face is starting to come together a lot more right now. Okay, another thing from here, once the face is down, I sometimes will pull the jawline in, but not always. My favorite technique is actually put the, the ear in first. Because once the ear is in place, you always get a sense when the ear is in place. I can connect the top of the head, how big I want it to be, and the bottom of the head. And it's both connecting to the, to, let's just draw that there. The top will connect that way, and the top will connect that way. You can even see there, look, even though she's got a hat on. So from the eye and the, che the cheekbone, the ear always goes about somewhere around here. I'm going for a phase at the moment where I actually like drawing the ears quite big. So I like to have the ear poking out this side too. So I would do this, like, but this is where you start to find your own style. You might think, nah, I don't like, I don't like my girls with big ears. I want my girls looking in normal sized ears. And then with the basic principles here learned, you can then go off and then just leave the ears normal. So, for the ear, I draw like a rough circle, and I'll literally almost follow that. <laughs> Apart from a little dent here. And let's just say here's the fold of the ear, because if you get a photo of an actual ear, which I might actually insert in the video, you see there's a top bit, and then there's the lobe at the bottom. 
I like to really accentuate that fold. Just up there. Okay guys, it's starting to come together quite nicely. This is just the basics of it all. And now like I said before, the cheekbone I can easily, easily, easily bring up from there and just a straight, almost a straight line. Even sometimes I won't even have a straight line, I'll bend it inwards a tiny bit. Like that. And I don't even connect it all the way to the ear, I just drop a tiny line here to indicate that's the end of the jawline. Ooh. Tell you what guys, this is actually looking pretty cool. And then from the eyebrow here, let's just put, pull a line straight, just straight up. But at an angle, because everything's at an angle here on this side of the face. So straight line up. And that's we have the basic face structure in place. I might draw just a simple bit of hair right now, but I'm not going to go too much in detail on the hair because that's a whole different lesson in itself, to be honest. Let's just give her a simple fringe. I kind of like this shape here. Uh, even this shape I used before for the sketch I'm kind of gives you a bit more imagination of where you want to take your picture. So here, I'm just going to turn that into quick scarf give her this sort of cool fringe at the front I like the side partings coming down there so just add another one on there one here if you guys want to see a tutorial on different hairstyles just write down in the comment section let me know or any other tutorial on that fact because we're all in quarantine at this point I just feel like these videos are all I have to hold on to at the moment. So I just want to give as much information to you guys while I actually have the time. Because being an artist, as you all know, it can be very demanding at times. And I just know for a fact once we're out of quarantine, I'm going to be booked. And chuck in, should chuck in a back bun? Yeah, let's do it. Back bun, putting some chopsticks in her hair. Okay, so that's basically from the angle to the left, looking to the left. And um, I will actually do two more faces just to go through the process again and give you a great understanding of how I'm hitting every angle. Um, but for now, I'm just going to speed this video up for you guys and then you can see the final result. For this, I'm just using a Faber Castell, a black Faber Castell. If I was going to colour it with watercolours or with, say, Copic markers, I'd obviously do it with a, with a pen. But yeah, I'm just going to speed up the video and then I'll show you the end result. Alright guys, there we have it. That's the first lesson I want to show you guys, which is how to do a simplistic girl's face. I've just taken this pencil, I've gone over all the, all the outline. Really picked out all the line work, added a few bits of shading. But yeah. And that ain't all I'm going to be showing you today because, like I keep on saying, this quarantine's got me going insane. So I'm actually going to draw a second face for you guys. Just and Plus also this is going to show you guys how to do different angles. I mean it might be a bit of a long video, but if you stick with it, afterwards you're going to be able to draw on girls left, right and centre. Like bang, bang, bang. So stick with it. And I'll show you guys how to draw a graffiti girl. But this time, let's have a face in from the right. So, similar to this one. And like I said at the beginning, we're just going to draw a circle like every single art teacher tells you to do. Draw a circle. And then we're going to whack the line angled this way. And by the way, the more bend on that line you want to pit is the more you're going to have the face turning that side. And I'm actually going to show you another trick now, how to make your characters look so much more dimensional. So this is the face, similar to this, but this time Let's put a square here. And you're probably going to think, Sotep, why have you put a square there? <laughs> We're going to make a cube like this. This is if you really struggle with dimension or you really want to add loads of dimension because obviously the bigger the cube is, I could bend that cube and add a, add a ton of 
a ton of dimension. So this is the side of the head. This is the front of the face. And from here it gives me, if I put some parallel lines here, getting smaller to this point, boom, boom. I can boost up the dimension compared to this one, which has a bit more of a flatness to it, which is, which is quite pretty, obviously. It's quite like standard, but this I want to boost the dimension. So here, this eye, I'm really going to angle up the same. Actually, no, let's not have the same sort of eyes. Let's mix the eyes up. So from here, the eye socket would be here. The second would be about here. And I'm just going to draw these little, these long sort of lines like this. And I'll just do the same here. Now for this girl, I'll probably draw with her eyes shut. So just put some lashes bending up. Put some lashes here. Lashes here. And also if her eyes are shut, her eyelids going to be a lot bigger. So I'm just going to angle the shape up. Boom. And the same for this eye here. Obviously a bit smaller because you've got to think this this eye here is pushed further back. That side. Maybe a bit of underline. Ooh, and there we have it guys. That's the eyes in place. The same eyes first, nose, mouth. That's the process I go through. You might find, oh nah, so terrible. I didn't work that way. I've got to pick the nose in first now and form the nose go outwards. If you work that way, that is fine. You are, you are your own artist and you're going to find your own way. I'm just here making a video trying to give you a bit of guidance. And if you can take one lesson from this video, bro, that's, that's 20 minutes well spent on a tutorial, I'd say. Well, I'm just going the eyebrows in, in place. A bit different from last time. Eyebrows up. Uh, and remember, on this eyebrow, it's going away into the distance. So the bigger side will be here. Compared to this side, this is the bigger side and it normally goes down to a point for this character. Well, for this character, eyebrows, they could be bushy, they could be thin. Alright, remember we had the shape up here, so this shape I want to mix up a bit. Um, let me just draw like a triangle. Yeah, like that. A triangle this time. A triangle, why not? We'll throw a triangle there. Nostril's going to be there. Triangle point here. Now there's the bottom of the nose. And that will be the front, the point. And bend it up. So he's got quite a pointy nose. Snooty looking woman up there. And there's always like an undershade from the middle. So I'm going to put the undershade here. And with the undershade, if you just draw like a line similar to this, twist it around and just down. So the top, the top of the line is darker and the bottom is actually a lot lighter. It shapes the nose well completely okay she's looking kind of like a bit of a gnome right now but that's kind of cool that's kind of cool why not there's beauty in everything and now the lips go in here um, I'm gonna have the bottom lip coming up so this would be like this yeah like sort of pouty looking um, I don't want too much emphasis on the top lip, so I draw it sort of like, yeah. Play around with your, with your lip shapes, depending on what you want. She's sort of like sulking looking, like, yeah, she's sulking. I don't know why. She couldn't go out and paint today, so she's sulking. She's a, she's a writer. Give her a bit of a backstory. Right now, using the using the cube, you get a good indication of there's the there's the side of her head. So it is probably going to be placed here. I'm going to draw a bit more normal ears here. I say normal, they're still fair big, but you get the point. Dip goes there, and once again, put the cheekbones in place. So just two lines there, there. I'm actually going to leave this cheekbone out on this one, um, and then bring it into the lips. You can see when this line when this line goes here, it just makes everything make more sense. The same with the bottom of the face. The ears are already in place, so then drag the line. I'm actually gonna make this line a little bit more rounded. So if you watch the line going rounded, it's gonna give a more of a rounded face. That's good if you want to do like younger characters. 
And it's looking pretty cool, huh? It'd be good if this was a sort of live thing and you guys can be like, Yo, Sotep, put a hat on her or take her eyebrows out. You can give more of a direction of it, but for now, obviously, it's a tutorial. So we can't do that feature. Boo. Boo, boo, boo. Okay, man, pull that back. Make a sulk in. Maybe add some water in her eyes there. Put the water running down her face. Oh man, she's sad. She's sad. She's locked in quarantine. That's why she's sad. Um. Let's throw a hat on her. Yeah, I'm just gonna sort of throw a hat on her. I'm not gonna go into too much detail on how to draw hats. Like, if you want a tutorial on clothes, um, let me know. But I tell you what I am using is this cube right here. Here's the biggest point towards the audience. So from here would be the raising point of the hat, and then just dip it down here. Bang. Easy to give you a shape, which makes perfect sense. Bam. Bam, 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 bam. Slap that back here, the peak of the hat. And then I'll just draw some of her hair, sort of. Sort of, still come into the face. Oh, this is fun, guys. I'm definitely going to start making some more of these tutorials. If you guys have been on my Instagram, obviously you would have seen there's a few, uh, a few live streams happening there, getting the community together. So if you want to go check out my Instagram, I'll just plug it on the video now. Go check it out. Join the join the Sotep army, and there we go. That's the rough sketch. That's just the rough lines down. Anything you want to change, obviously change now. But for now, uh, I'm not worried too much. I'm just trying to get you the basic the basic shapes down. Um, yeah, she's just like she's just like some sort of schoolgirl, like sulky schoolgirl. Can't go out and play with her mates. That sort of vibe. But yeah guys, I'm literally just going to speed this up and um, I'll show you the end result. Alright guys, there we have it. That's the second face lined and drawn up in black. Just using the, using the pen to highlight all the lines I want really, but that's two different lessons I've given you now. Looking to the left, looking to the right, you're probably thinking to yourself, thanks so much for the lessons. But that is not all, guys. I'm even going to show you guys how to draw a face looking straight on. Like I said, don't say Sotep doesn't treat you, because he sure does. So for this one, once again, we're going to start off with a circle. Yes, you knew it was coming. Start off with a circle. And you're probably starting to feel like a routine, like, okay, I know how this is going to go. It's going to go straight down the middle, no bent lines here. Because this character is just going to be looking straight on. Same process once again. But this time I'm actually going to draw some guidelines. Yeah, why not? Draw some guidelines. Line for the bottom of the eyes, top of the eyes. Depending on this is how big you actually want to make your eyes. Some people like different eye types. This is something which you're just going to find your preference on. And now, just the same as before, once the eyes are in place, I'm going to then put a placement of the nose. So if you've got the bridge of the nose on the top, the nose is going to be somewhere on the central point or just below. And I've got no actual indication in my head how I want to look. So like the shapes before, I'm just going to throw, let's just put that isosceles, isosceles, like a math lesson shape. Put the nostrils either side, that's the, where the top of the lips would be. A little indication there, why not? And two smaller triangles for the nostril side. Get a bit of a shade mark in. Quite a protruding nose, shade down. And that's the nose placement. And then I like to put this little shape here, like a little U, give me that dip of the, the top lip. And then just place the top lip in. I'll give this one quite fat lips, but quite small at the same time. And just put the bottom one in a bit bigger than the top. 
let's have it open a tiny bit. Why not? Why not? Yeah, there we go. And even at this stage, if you want to add a bit of funk or a bit of spice, let's just put like a nose ring in here. She'd be quite, quite a gothy girl. Let's make this one quite gothy. Why not? Okay. And now underneath here, I like to always add a little bit of a drop shadow and a line here just to indicate the bottom of the chin. Now, <clears throat> the same process as I did earlier with the with the faces here is fitting in the ears next. Obviously the ears are face on so I'm gonna do him closer closer to the to the skull instead of sticking out as much as over here, just like this one here. And then once the ears are in place this gives me a greater indication of the face shape I want to create. And then from the bottom, just work out the face shape you want, round off from here to the to the ear. And the same for the for the other side here. Female faces tend to be a lot more rounded than a male face, whereas a male face would be a lot more chiselled because of the cheekbones compared to a woman's. And I might actually bring this ear in a tiny bit now I've lined it up. Okay guys, like before that we've got the base down. Just make it a bit smaller here, bring it in a tiny bit. And there we go, I'm quite happy with that so far. It looks quite unique to be honest, but it looks kind of cool. This doesn't look the same as any other girl you can find on Pinterest or on Instagram. I think that's a lot of problem a lot of artists, even myself sometimes, is you end up drawing the same sort of faces for your characters or the same body shape. Sometimes it's cool to have a shape which is a bit like, oh, that's, that's unique in itself. It definitely stands out amongst the crowd. And from here, just put the eyebrows in. Maybe give them more of a rough, rough eyebrow look than the others. And then I'm just going to throw in the eyelids. I'm going to keep these quite tucked in close to the eye. Why not give us some dimples? Yeah, throw us some. I put some dimples here too. Bam, bam, bam. Okay. And that is basically the face structure in place. Let's keep it simpler for you guys. I'll paint the neck for you, just throw in some, some side bits. Shoulders there. And now I'm just going to sketch in the hair. Um, like I said, I can do a whole tutorial on hair, different hairstyles, if it's needed. I'll just have it coming over the eye for now. Just drape in, throw it down here, curl it up, but yeah, just put this in. But once you basically have the basic shape face down, it becomes a little easier to add things onto it. So like here, just put it here, here. Get a hair clip in um, and work the back out. But yeah, that's the basic, the basic face, the face shape for this one. I'm just gonna go in set once again with the black pencil, pick out all the lines I want, and uh, give it all the guidelines. So yeah, I'm just gonna time lapse like before, just time lapse this bit up.
And right guys, there we have it. This is just a quick tutorial showing you guys how you can draw graffiti styled faces in three different ways. Um, there's so much more to learn but this is just a good foundation to show you guys how I break down a face, the shapes I use, the angles and then later on how I can build on top of that. Um, yeah, seeing as we're all in quarantine, I hope this tutorial actually brought you a lot of information and you're out there creating, making stuff, not getting too down at this time. Um, also a massive thank you to everybody on Patreon. Honestly, you guys are incredible. You're the ones who allow me to make these videos. If you fancy joining the team and get some stickers and some prints every month, um, I'll put a link in the description. And any future videos you guys want to see, just um, let me know. Drop me a message in the comments section and I'll, I'll be more than happy to make it at this time. And just let you guys know, if you do want to go purchase yourself these new sticker kits that I've created, you can go head to my shop, which also be a link in the bio. Um, and yeah, guys. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and just keep on creating. Take care. Bye 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 bye.